Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. What do you get when you combine a 10-inch tablet with a Google Home Mini? Well, Lenovo and Google has an answer to that and it's called the Smart Display. It's essentially a better way of interacting with the Google Assistant with a display that gives you the ability not only to have interface as far as visual responses, videos, but also the ability to interact with it because it's a touch display and it has a built-in camera. Today I'm going to do a quick unboxing and setup of the Lenovo Smart Display with the Google Assistant for you. I mean, I'm giving you my initial impressions. Is it really better than just having a regular Google Home Mini and then just casting all the answers that you want to a TV using a Chromecast? This is TK. Let's check it out. And here we have it. This is the 10 inch model with the bamboo back. There is an eight inch version of this that's about $50 less. Uh, and that one has more of a gray slate in the back. And I felt like this one looked better as well as for video consumption when you're in the kitchen, this is gonna work best. Uh, it is powered by the Google Assistant and we were using this command to initiate it. Uh, and I'll make sure to take care of that for you guys in the video. So don't worry, I'm not gonna trigger any of your uh, Google Homes with this. Overall, this is the out of the box experience that you're gonna be able to get. You're gonna be compatible with YouTube, Spotify, Google Photos, Chromecast, of course, since it has a built-in casting capability. Google Duo for video conferencing, since we have video and a camera built in here, hopefully we'll have Hangouts in the future. It does work with Nest as usual, since Nest is a Google company. And of course, to control Philips Hue and any automation things that your normal Google Assistant does support that. This is a Wi-Fi model, there's no LTE. It is powered by the Snapdragon 624. We are looking at the 10 inch 1920 by 1200 IPS display with great viewing angles. We have two gigs of RAM. Uh, of course, uh, AB, ABGNAC MIMO BT 4.2. So we're looking at BT 4.2 as far as what we have as a Bluetooth built in, no battery, and the operating system is, if you notice, this is Android Things. This is the first initial basically availability of Android Things in a consumer market uh, availability. So the experience that we're getting here is unlike any other way of experiencing the Google Assistant. And here we have it. Uh, Actually, it looks pretty good. Uh, this is again the 10-inch model, 5 megapixel sensor in the front for video that we're using Allo right now. Uh, swiping off the bottom takes you into settings, swiping up from the left takes you directly or back or outside of an app. And of course, we have the 2-inch 10-watt uh, speaker that's built into the left side. Uh, and I'll share with you guys, here it is. Uh, as I mentioned, this is the bamboo one as, again, the 10-inch is a bamboo and it looks really, really nice with that bamboo and white coloring. Uh, let's go ahead and take out the plastic. And it's definitely bottom weighted, so you could see that here obviously because uh, all the electronics and everything is sitting at the bottom. And at the top, it's actually pretty thin. You can see pretty much how, how thin it is. We have a volume rocker. We do have, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that looks like a microphone on and off, as well as two of the microphones that we have here. We also have a camera, kind of a, basically a way of kind of covering the camera itself. So you notice right there that little red dot whenever this is on, that means the camera is closed. A couple of instruction manuals. Uh, power brick. Now to power it on you just need to plug in that power brick directly into the wall and then plug it in into the back of the unit itself and it should automatically power itself on. As it's powered on I'm gonna let it go through its process. We do need to download and make sure that we have the Google Home application then that's gonna be how we're gonna set it up to connect to our Wi-Fi and set up our personal account on it. Hi I'm your Google Assistant. To get started download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet the Google Home app, you say? Well, I have it already installed. You'll notice right there, it says one device found ready to be set up. Uh, so by default, it's ready to go. Uh, you just need to turn on a Wi-Fi and then go through that option. So go ahead and hit set up here. And then pretty much so Google is a smart display. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. So it's connecting directly into it. You'll notice it gives us a code here just to kind of confirm that we're connecting to the right system. And I'll wait for it to show up here. And we get the same code and I'll say yes. And as help improve the Google Assist Smart Display, I'm gonna say no thanks at this point. And I'm gonna put this in as the kitchen unit. And I'm gonna say next. And at this point, I need to connect it directly to the home Wi-Fi that we have. Now, the cool thing is because it's connected to a Wi-Fi that is already saved on my phone, I don't need to put in the credentials for it. I just need to connect to it. You notice they're communicating with the, uh, each other. And now the actual unit itself, the smart display is gonna be connecting to the network. Of course, as usual, whenever I download or purchase one of these guys, they always have an update. So I'm gonna let it go through the update right here and I'm gonna complete my process here. So before using my assistant, you can go through and look at some of the partner applications and set them up. 
uh, services and privacy and of course guest and your assistant I'm gonna go ahead and hit next get your assistant to recognize your voice I'm gonna say I agree and it should be able to pull directly from my existing setup and here it is it says your assistant can already recognize your voice so that's pretty cool so it transfers that information as well get personal results with your voice uh, voice match set I'm gonna say I agree and then at this point you can customize and add additional services so by default I do have Google Play music and YouTube uh, music here built in on my device and I've already authorized those to play music on any of my Google homes at home uh, I can add Spotify, Pandora, and Deezer if I'd like. I don't use these services, but if I did want that, that would be great to have. And here you can customize to say which one is your default music playback. I like to keep it on Google Play Music as I feel like it has a bigger library. Um, although you can switch it over to YouTube Music if you feel like you want to listen to things more off of YouTube. Uh, next thing, of course, we can add uh, basically CBS, HBO Now, Stars, and Vicky. Uh, now keep in mind these things, you can add them if you want to play directly on the unit, if you have an account with them. For me, I'm using my HBO through Hulu, so I can't really add it separately here. So I'll be able to cast using my Hulu application. Here is one of the first things I noticed. You notice it says set up video calling. So that process went through it sent us a verification code and it actually pretty much authenticated that I'm using the right account and then at this point or I need to choose an ambient mode which essentially is the backdrop of what you have so you can either use a art gallery photo frame or use it as a clock I'm gonna use it as a photo frame and I'm out of the box I'm gonna go here with my DBZ uh, folder that I've created I've kind of already set it up in advance uh, at this point, we're just basically configuring. Uh, you can either add payment method if you'd like to use it to do shopping. Uh, all the other information has been set up. I'm going to say continue. Now you notice right there it says the camera is off and then it's saying that it's installing an update. So it, now at this point, they're configuring or they're working with each other to just kind of give us that final setup and we're all set. Your new smart display. Let me show you how it works. This is the home screen where you'll find notifications, reminders, and important information and learn more about what your Google Assistant can do for you. Say hey Google to get started. You can ask questions, play your favorite music and videos, get step-by-step -step voice guidance for thousands of recipes, control smart home devices, and more. So here we are. Um, again, the setup was pretty simple. And I, as you saw right there, as I, I selected the DBZ folder, I have a few pictures in there. Big fan of Dragon Ball, as you guys already kind of figured that out. We have time, we have weather. Uh, it already says photo by TK Bay, uh, and this is the DBZ folder. Uh, and I'm able to swipe between those pictures. Swiping up from the bottom, as they said, we can set up the actual display brightness. Uh, we can also set the volume. I'm gonna keep it level here. Uh, we can have the do not disturb and we can go into the settings tab. Let's go ahead and see. We have Wi-Fi. we have connected connectivity about device. Let's go in here. It, giving us the same information, just tells us the screen the resolution. The version is 1.2.24 plus prod, which I'm assuming is production level. Uh, kitchen display is what I have it set up. And of course, this is where we'll be able to do a factory reset if we want to reconfigure it. Uh, we'll go one more time. Sending feedback is really, really cool. If you ever have a new recommendation for uh, like a new feature, a new thing that you want your Google Home to be able to do, definitely make sure you follow that. Now. Overall, the only thing I have right here, if I swipe from the left, there's not much other than it just goes dark. Uh, if I touch it again, it brings back the backdrop or essentially this is what we have now as ambient. Uh, you saw that the speakers built in here, everything is set up. There really is no apps to look at. All you have to do is just basically use it as you normally use your assistant. So I can pretty much say, hey Google, show me the weather. sunny with a forecasted high of 103 and a low of 70. So you notice right there, there's the interactive weather. You can look at it. You can pretty much just say, do you know, things like that. Or you can say, hey Google, show me videos of TK Bay from YouTube. Here you go. It'll open up YouTube and it'll should be able to play more than likely the most recent video available. Or if you notice right there, so it gave me access to the channel itself. Here's my channel. Uh, I can swipe through and then you can see some really nice font. I mean, I like the uh, the color scheme here and the interface is very simple. Uh, I can go directly and just say an automatic, so it's a random video. Uh, and Hello that was the last video that I did. Today's video is about the SEMA X6 This is a budget drone that has some of the cool And features. yep, we can scrub through. We can go flag it for later if we want to. Of course, we can turn on uh, closed captioning. So these things are very much built in. You notice and it works really well with the display. So it's more of an 18 by nine aspect ratio. So, and it kind of fits the 16 by nine. There's a little bit of border. Uh, can we zoom in? No. So if I want to get out of this, I just swipe back to the left. I go back to the last section. And again, I can select other videos or I can just say, play some music from YouTube. So right there, you notice it automatically turned on the YouTube player and it's starting to play some stuff for me here. Okay, Google. What's the temperature downstairs? So 
So you notice this is Nest. By default, it brings up the Nest application. I can go into modes. Heat cool is what I have. The temperature that I have it currently set. And I can configure it and go back from here. And when I'm done, I can just swipe away. Uh, the other thing I wanted to share with you guys is that this actually has a functionality kind of like a Google Cast, which means I can cast things from my phone directly to it. So here on my phone, I'll go ahead and hit the casting option. You'll notice it there. It says casting kitchen display. So at this point, I can actually cast directly from my phone using, let's say, Hulu or some of the other applications. Although keep in mind, Netflix currently is not supported. They are working on that, but you'll notice right there. So Hulu is compatible here. I'm gonna go to TV, Friday Night Lights, uh, movies. I can go ahead and play, you know, GI Joe, whichever. And of course, I can just say play, and it's gonna cast directly, GI Joe, Cobra, and then it'll start playing the video, of course, for us. So I'm just gonna let it, just make sure that it starts correctly. And you can see some of the rolling credits here. Very cool, controlling it from the phone works really good. So casting works great. Uh, let's go ahead and play some music. Hey Google. Play Jumbo by Alex Kringo from Google Play. Okay, Jumbo by Alex Kringo. Here it is on Google Play Music. So you know the Google Play Music integration is very, very nice. You get a nice little splash screen here for the song and you can of course scrub. So I normally do speaker tests and I'll always be with my favorite song since this is a copyright free song. So let's go ahead and do a quick demo with this and see how well does this sound, uh, does the speaker sound. You know what? It actually sounds pretty good for what it's offering you. I mean, it's a single firing speaker on the left side with woofers on the back. There's two of those. Uh, again, it's the, the, on the bigger one, you're getting the two inch 10 watt speaker as opposed to the smaller one, you're getting a 1.75 inch speaker. So just keep in mind, much better experience using this device. Overall, very simple to set up. Just download the Google Home application and follow through the steps. Now, the actual unit itself is very nice. We have a camera shutter cover. Again, if you don't want to use the camera, we do have a USB-C port that's built into the bottom side of this, which I'm not sure what it's for. I'm hoping it's basically for data connection. Uh, of course, we have volume up, volume down, as well as the ability to basically have entire experience using just a response right there in the same spot. We're not casting our answers to another display in another room as the way we normally do with the Google Home. And that was really cool. But at that point, you had to have a Google Home as well as a Chromecast that's not only on the same network, but connected to the same thing. So there's other things that you have to keep in mind. If you have that ecosystem, that may be working really well for you guys. Uh, but if you don't, this is really good. Uh, in the kitchen, this is where it's going. I think it's gonna be very functional, making video calls, as well as looking up recipes, looking up videos, and looking up different things that you generally wanna do. Uh, it is gonna get better. This is the initial release, obviously, so Netflix will be fixed. Uh, casting to it is very simple. You just cast the same way you cast from your phone. Uh, so this will work with Android and iOS. And of course, for Duo, it actually already works kind of with both. Uh, you have it on Android, which most devices come with it. And iOS has an app you can download and you can make video calls back and forth. So really excited to be able to check it out. There'll be a follow-up video, of course, with some more stuff. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think about it? And what are some of the things that you would want me to focus on? Uh, the last thing I wanna to mention to you guys, for the best price to get right now on a 10 inch model for 199, which is pretty much the price of the eight inch model if you buy it at a regular store, uh, Costco in the US is the best place to get it. Uh, they're selling the 10 inch model for 199. Again, as I mentioned, it's $50 off the retail price on the market. So if you have a membership or if you know somebody that has a membership, call them, ask them for a favor and get yourself the 10 inch model. I feel like the upgraded internals with a bigger display is much better for using this in the kitchen when you have more than one person watching the same content on the same display. This is TK. I want to say thank you very much for the support for all these years. Again, we crossed 60,000 not that long ago. And I want to say thank you very much again. Like and subscribe as usual. And I'll see you guys in the next video.